Waiters of Reddit, what's the most ridiculous order someone's placed and how did you deal with it? I worked at a national pizza chain for a while as a manager. We used to get this guy who would order all the time. He was lactose intolerant so couldn't have cheese and had severe heartburn when he ate red sauce. He would order an XL Supreme with no sauce and no cheese. I told the guy if I did that, the toppings would just fly all over the box but he didn't care. We ended up just baking the dough separate from the toppings and put the toppings in a small wing box on the side for him. Guy said no other pizza place would do that for him and he turned out to be a great repeat customer who always tipped well. I will say one thing about the picky pizza people, you get it right for them, you become their new best friend, and it kinda feels good. Not a waiter but a cook. Had a lady order her tofu scramble burnt, so I cooked it hard, she sent it back because it wasn't burnt enough, so I cooked it harder, she sent it back again and the waiter said she really wants it burnt, so I got a wok super hot, put too much oil in and proceeded to burn the crap out of it, my chef came by and lost his crap, I explained it to him and he watched me burn just ruined the thing, it was black and smelled like a tire fire, she ate all of it and said we were the only place to get it right. She came back every weekend for it and we had to train new cooks how to burn the living frick out of her food for her. I still can't comprehend why she would eat that. I had a customer send back well done prime rib three times because it wasn't well done enough. The cook said frick it the fourth time and dropped it in the deep fryer for at least five minutes. Then the customer asked for a side of ketchup. I once had a guy place his order and then say and give me one of those spaghetti appetizers. I had been working there for a couple months, and we had no pasta dishes whatsoever on the menu. I politely tried to clarify this, but he wasn't having it. He just kept getting more irate. He insisted that he eats here all the time, and he always gets the spaghetti appetizer. Eventually, he gets up from his table, storms over to another one, and points at what he wants on another diner's table. He was pointing at their coleslaw, and yes, as far as he was concerned, I was still the butthole for not knowing what he was talking about. The strangest request. When I worked for Starbucks, I helped open the first drive through store in the area so it was a learning process for some customers. A lady orders in the drive through lane an iced venti vanilla latte with 22 sweet n lows. Any. 22 sweet n lows. Like 22. Customer. Sigh yes 22 sweet n lows. Me. Okay. Please pull up. Now at the drive thru we put the extra milk and sugar in the drinks for the customers. When in a cafe they would add it on their own. So, the person working the bar looks at me like for real this lady wants 22 packs of sweet and low in her latte? That's what she said so that's what we made her. The lady pulls up and pays for her drink. I hand it over and tell her to have a nice day. She stops and says oh, can I get those sweet and lows now I just looked at her and said that they were already in her drink. Boy was she pee. She wanted us to hand her 22 packs of sweet and low in the drive through so that she could take them home. When I worked at a hibachi sushi Japanese place this family came in with an adult son who had some kind of mental disability and only wanted to eat breakfast food. The mom asked if we had bread, we didn't. She went to the gas station next door and bought bread, and came back and asked me to toast it. Now, there is no toaster in the restaurant, and I had to explain to the 100% Chinese barely English speaking kitchen to cook 3 eggs rare on one side, sunny side up, and bread medium rare, toast. It worked out and everybody was happy, chefs were super confused as to why anyone would want that. Bread medium rare is an amusingly logical way to describe toast, nicely done. I worked at a pizza parlor, and the most ridiculous request was one that could have been so simple. A lady calls and orders a small pepperoni pizza with no pepperoni I clarify and ask her so just a small cheese to which the woman, clearly annoyed by my lack of understanding, says number, a small pepperoni with no pepperoni. I again clarify and ask you want a pizza with sauce and cheese only yes, a queso a cheese pizza, no I want a small pepperoni with no pepperoni. We made her a cheese pizza. She didn't call and complain. Still not sure what the frick she thought she was ordering. My only thought to this logic would be a particular sale going on. Pepperoni pizza $6.99 limited time. Cheese pizza still 7.99 plus dollar sign 1.50 toppings. 
I had a woman call me back to the table because I didn't place her nachos close enough to her. She asked me to push them closer to her. Customer asked for a spaghetti with a side of more noodles and extra sauce because they were going to share. So, I said you'd like one spaghetti and then an additional order of spaghetti. They told me I wasn't getting it and they just wanted extra noodles and some sauce on the side. I told them we would have to charge for extra noodles, and they ended up not wanting it. They somehow thought free spaghetti was a reasonable request. Had a lady order our filet mignon. When it was brought out to her she said with disgust that she had ordered the filet, not a steak. She proceeded to argue that a filet mignon was a type of baked potato rather than a steak. People need to stop pretending they speak French. Not so much the order but the guy tried to cook the meal through me by shouting directions from the other side of the counter. I worked at as a server at a ritzy country club on Cape Cod and this woman once brought in a paint chip and told me she wanted her cosmopolitan to be the exact same color as her pink paint chip. Sounds like she'd been eating those paint chips. Oh how I miss my old regular. We are not a fine dining establishment. It's a small family style Italian restaurant. This lovely grey haired gentleman would call ahead so that we could put a salad bowl in the freezer for him. After that I would go to his spot at the bar, or the closest one open to it, and set a large dinner napkin down, that he placed his salad meal on. I would then place an empty wine glass with a napkin over it, per his request, just in case the dinner napkin didn't specify that the seat was taken. Once he got there I would go to the back and make his specific salad, very little lettuce. Extra mushroom, extra tomato, extra onion, no shredded cabbage, and no cucumber. That would be after I get him two ice cold beer glasses for his 70 stroke 30 sweet unsweet tea mixture with an extra glass of ice. He would then attempt to engage in a 5-10 minute conversation about our specials for the evening, and how he could order them. The guy came in between 3-6 nights a week and always tipped fairly. He was the kind of nice old guy that would get you and your wife birthday cards because that stuff was important to him. He then moved 45 minutes away and we never see him anymore. Miss the heck out of that old man though. One couple in particular made the chef rage so hard she just walked out. Wife orders some meal and makes a ton of changes to it. She gets the plate takes one bite and sends it back because she doesn't like it. Husband orders $60 lobster plate. The lobster tail comes with pepper sprinkled on top. The husband sends it back and wants a whole new one with no pepper on top. Apparently his wife wanted to try one piece but doesn't like pepper. I would love to be in a restaurant where a waiter or manager tells a persnickety customer that the chef has left the building because of their order, and there will be no more food. As a waiter at a coastal restaurant, we occasionally had dolphins come in the harbor right to where people would eat. These two old ladies came in and before they placed their orders, demanded I release the dolphins for their amusement. It took a good 10 seconds of silence before I realized they were serious. I passed this request on to my manager and then continued to eat free jumbo shrimp. We wish to be amused. Release the dolphins, peasant. It wasn't so much the order that was disturbing, but the post order request. He asked me to chew up the food and put it back onto his plate. No medical reason. No missing teeth. Not old. Just creepy as frick. He got very upset when I declined. I had a four top once that one of the gentlemen was ordering and asked for extra onion. And he made extreme emphasis on extra onion. So I go to put the order in and I have to talk to the chef to make sure he understands extra onion. So when the order comes out, I get a side plate of a cut whole onion. I giggle and take the order to the table. I put the orders of food in front of all the other guests and leave onion man for last. I set his plate of food and extra onion down. He looks up at me and starts laughing. The whole table is now laughing. I am like Daffuck. Apparently wherever they go, no matter what he always has to ask for more onion. And this time my snarky chef nailed it. I used to work at Whole Foods as a juicer and this one guy would come in every day and order 12 ounces of garlic juice to go, which is like $20 BTW. After a couple weeks of seeing him order the same thing I asked him to drink it in front of me because I didn't believe it was humanly possible to ingest that much garlic. He downed it all in front of me and said this along with much garlic comes much loneliness I laughed and he said no seriously I work from home. This isn't a food story per se, but I worked for Whole Foods as well. 
One day a customer wanted us to light a bag of our charcoal briquettes in the parking lot so she could see how much smoke it produces because her condo association frowned upon a lot of smoke from grills. My dipshit co-workers actually considered doing it. 10 years in the service industry checking in. At the Italian restaurant I worked at as a server bartender manager for 5 years. We had a lot of regular customers come in and had some strange requests. Most were nothing too special, but one guy would come in 4-5 days a week, and he would never order anything on the menu unless it was a busy night and we wouldn't have time to get crazy. On the slower nights though, he would order things with sauces we didn't normally make, or special dessert concoctions, even though we prepare desserts daily, and did not make them to order. The craziest thing he ever ordered though, was a donut explosion. To be clear, we did not know, know how to make donuts. However, there was a Dunkin Donuts next to our location, and he sent one of his favorite servers next door to pick up a dozen random donuts. When he came back, the customer told me which ones he wanted on his dessert, and I proceeded to go back into the kitchen and whip up his dessert to his specification. It consisted of two donuts, topped with vanilla ice cream, layered between the brownie cake that was our house specialty, and topped with chambord and a port wine fig sauce that we put on pork chops. This was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in a restaurant, but he let me try a bite and it was freaking amazing. Needless to say, he ordered it a few more times before I left that restaurant. I worked in fine dining for a while. I had one lady order creme brulee french toast with a fruit loops crust and a bottle of champagne with two carafes of orange juice. We made it. Actually we made a whole batch and the workers ate it. It was actually really good. It was a hotel restaurant. Everyone with that amount of money who doesn't order fabulous extravagant crap like that is wasting it all. I'll have a cold grilled cheese please. So, uncooked, no, cook it, just serve it cold. Had this skinny guy order two full lobster plates and a ribby steak. I just sat back and watched him dominate it all. After 9pm we have all you can eat pancakes. Some dude ate 17 pancakes. Barista here. We had a Narcotics Anonymous convention in town once. I had someone order a 16 ounce cup with as much espresso as would fit. It was something like 18 shots, cost about 25 bucks, and he downed it at the counter and went woo another NA guy wanted a 16 ounce cup with half vanilla syrup and half espresso. A lady regularly asks for a cup of regular coffee with a large spoonful of butter stirred in. We do breakfast sandwiches on bagels and croissants, and a businessman with a group of his colleagues had ham egg cheese, but he wanted it on a chocolate croissant. I think my favorite incident, though, was a lady that wanted a latte with half non-fat and half soy, a triple shot with one regular shot, one decaf shot, and one half calf shot, heated to a specific temperature, double cupped, one splendor and one equal stirred into the shots, the works. Basically, the guy behind her thought it was as ridiculous as I did, and he loudly asked for a mocha bulls drink with one third goat's milk, one third cashew milk, and one third giraffe milk, cooled with a chip of ice from a Norwegian glacier and topped with nutmeg and gold flake. Then he said, wait, is your giraffe milk fair trade? Okay never mind then, I'll just have a cup of coffee. He still comes in, I love that guy. When I worked at McDonald's someone asked for a quarter pounder medium rare, light ketchup with an extra toasted bun. It was a very slow time and we were all amused by it so I made one for him. He came back to compliment my cooking. ETA. This happened in 1980. We used real grills and spatulas to cook the burgers then. We didn't know about E. coli and ground beef. I made it by cooking it a little less than normal so it was still safe in any case. I was waitressing at a banquet once, and the meal was over. Now time for coffee and speeches. I pour coffee for a table, and a man points at his cup and says, I'll need a refill in 7 minutes. So, I set my timer, and returned in 7 minutes. At 7 minutes again I ask, and he nods. So, I returned every 7 minutes and topped off his coffee for the rest of the banquet. At the end, he hands me his business card, owns a personnel placement agency, says, if you ever need a job, call me you just never know who you might be serving. A man sent back his plate because his hash browns were too hot. Like dude, just wait a little bit. 
Had a guy send one of our servers to the kitchen about 7 times, which is down the stairs far away from her section, to inquire about the weight of different hamburgers. All of them were the same yet he insisted she go down and check and would watch to make sure she did. He sends her away to mull it over for a while and you can see him snickering with his equally douchy looking two sons. Finally the guy decides he wants a 24 ounce grilled burger with nothing else but the patty. No seasoning or anything. Not like some hulking bro trying to get extra protein. Just an old butthole who wanted to frick with the poor server. Ate a bite. Said he didn't like it and ordered another burger. Tipped a very solid 0% after telling her it'd all be worth it. This is why we're all mildly functioning alcoholics. The last sentence describes the restaurant industry perfectly. A customer ordered a triple grandpa burger. This is a common mistake customers often made with us. A grandpa burger is a triple patty burger. So they often say triple grandpa burger when really they just mean the one three patty burger. But after this one guy I always clarified that was what they wanted because this guy actually wanted a 9 patty burger. I asked him twice to make sure I wasn't hearing wrong but no, that's exactly what he wanted. Not only that, he wanted cheese on every single patty, so that's 9 5 ounces, beef patties and 9 slices of cheese, plus, you know, condiments and the like. This wasn't even a big guy, looked fit as a fiddle, handsome, about 25 years old. And he was alone so it couldn't have been a dare. I guess he was just really freaking hungry. So I had the cook make it. And we stood behind the counter and watched as he ate every. Single. Bite. I wasn't even sure how I was supposed to react when he was done. But he seemed quite pleased. Thanked us. And left. Never saw that guy again. Work at a pizza shop here. This guy and his son regularly come in and the dad orders a large cheese pizza with no cheese or sauce. It's just the bread. Every single time. The kid doesn't like the cheese and sauce or something. On the other side of the spectrum. We had a woman come in with her daughter and ask us to put some pepperoni and cheese on our metal plate. Then cook it. Her daughter didn't want any dough. Well. I don't even remember all the specifics, but I once had this old lady come into Olive Garden and order something and literally customize every ingredient. We had one promo on tray that contained risotto. She asked me what risotto was, and then asked me to switch it out for plain brown rice and squash, neither of which we had. We made all our sauces in-house, but they weren't made on the spot for each order. She even tried to customize the ingredients in the sauce. And the end of everything after I ran around trying to make her happy. She complained to management that I was incompetent for not being a magician and changing how a restaurant works. Not a waiter, but I worked at Subway in high school. A guy came in and told me to put a lot of chipotle sauce on his sub. He said, put it on until you think there's too much, and then double it. His sub became a bread bowl filled with several cups of chipotle sauce. He paid for it. I gently handed it to him. And he walked away. In the deli paper and plastic bag. It felt like a warm. Very full diaper. Used to be a waiter. Had a family come in and eat. Little boy eventually orders dessert. Vanilla ice cream and ketchup. Yes. He put the ketchup on the ice cream. No. I didn't stick around to watch. I would have thrown up. I went out to eat with a co-worker at a bar restaurant and she ordered a blackened Cajun chicken sandwich. No blackened. No Cajun. The waiter says so you just want a chicken sandwich and she was annoyed and says eh no oh oh oh. I want a blackened Cajun chicken sandwich. Just no blackened or Cajun. She got a chicken sandwich and I got the right to make fun of her for the past 7 years. Family of 4 comes into upscale pizza place every Sunday. I've served them every week for a year. Three waters, no ice, one unsweet iced tea, with ice, picture of it on the side, no ice, order of whole wheat donuts, no brushed butter or cheese, oil on the side, pizza one, large, whole wheat crust, no sauce, pickles, double mahi mahi, portobello mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, red onions, yellow onions, roasted red peppers, bell peppers, zucchini, spinach, roasted tomatoes, roma tomatoes, diced tomatoes, basil, rice mozzarella, no butter brushed on crust, pizza 2, small, whole wheat crust, no sauce, double pickles, scallops, both mushrooms, both peppers, both onions, all three tomatoes, 
spinach, basil, oregano, rice mozzarella, no butter brushing on crust, well done, pizza 3, small, cornmeal crust, crushed black beans as sauce, double mahi, double pickles, only cremini mushrooms, eggplant, roasted tomatoes and peppers, no cheese, and no brushing of butter on crust, all four of them with individual sides of oil, garlic powder, and oregano, that's separate, so 12 little sides for the table, they take advantage of the Christmas gift card specials of free $25 for every $100 gift card, they buy $400 in gift cards, getting a free $100, it got to a point where, if the veteran pizza cooks and I, server, were working, this family could sit down and not say a word, we'd have their order already going, the only change would be sometimes order beer battered pickles, tl, dr, extremely specific order every week we knew it by heart. As a line cook forever I can tell you strange requests need to not only be understood by the server, but then translated to the cooks who most likely aren't in the mood for antics during a dinner rush. Over the summer, I had a customer who came in for Sunday brunch and ordered a spinach and feta cheese omelette. She then adds that she would like it made without eggs. I clarified that she wanted an omelette without eggs, not made with egg whites which is quite normal. We made her a spinach feta salad and the customer was happy. Well at least she was happy. That's better than the majority of customers in this thread. Boyfriend was a cook at a restaurant. Guy asked for a rare steak. Proper rare wasn't rare enough and he sent it back multiple times. Boyfriend got pee. Put a steak on the grill for 5 seconds each side and sent it out. The guy said it was the best steak he ever had and gave a huge tip. I once had a guy order a steak cooked by putting two plates in the oven for 10 minutes then pressing the meat between them for two. Got a $20 tip for that one. I used to be a barista at a cafe. I had someone order a 10 shot latte. I decided I'd make the same thing. I've never felt so disgusting in my life. I love coffee, but too much. I was shaking all day night. I mean of course I finished it. I'm not wasting coffee. Pregnant woman wanted a peanut butter and pickle blizzard. At the DQ I worked at, she brought her own pickles. It is against policy to blend things customers bring in into the blizzard, but they are welcome to stir their own ingredients in. It's my personal policy to not argue with pregnant women. She got her blizzard. When I worked fast food in high school we had a regular that would ask for half diet coke, half regular coke, and diet had to go first. She actually sent it back a couple times because we filled it in the wrong order. I actually kind of hate it when the soda fountain is behind the counter, not self-serve. I like mixing stuff, but no way in heck am I ordering it. Not a waiter, but a cook. I worked at an upscale pan-Asian restaurant. We were asked to make an almond chicken, with the sides, but the entire contents of the plate had to be put in a blender to be made into a shake for a woman who had recently had her jaw wired shut. We made it. It was actually quite tasty. Unusual request but not actually ridiculous when you hear the reason for it. I worked at a restaurant fish market type of establishment, where we sold raw product but would also prepare the food on the spot. One day I was helping an old Asian lady out and she told me had never had a whole lobster and would love to try one. As she was shopping in the fish market portion, I assumed she wanted it live. So we went over to the lobster tank and she picked the happiest little lobster out there. I asked her if she wanted to pay $16.99 for it alive or $22.99 for us to cook and serve it to her. She decided to take it alive. So I took some time to weigh it out and wrap it up in a takeout box for her to take home. I put it down on the table and walk away. A minute or two later I hear a commotion and come out to see this little Asian lady with a knife trying to cut off the claw of the lobster. Apparently she thought that she was supposed to eat this thing live. I cooked it for her. TL. Doctor Asian lady didn't know you had to cook lobster before eating. Happiest little lobster. Now I'm sad. Lady ordered mac and cheese. Sent it back because beer was cheese. I asked her, verbatim what did you expect apparently she didn't like looking like a dipshit in front of her peers. I had someone order a warm root beer, as in, stuck in the microwave and heated up. I definitely made a face but I did it. Really sucks to work somewhere that has bottomless pop and be sticking one in the microwave every 15 minutes. 
I had someone ask me how many wings are in your 10 count wings. I simply replied somewhere between 9 and 11. 2 Splendor, 1 equal, venti caramel macchiato, a shot, half calf, upside down, with soy, no foam, a whipped cream, extra hot, double cupped, extra caramel on top. Imagine an auctioneer saying this. My first job was as a barista 9 years ago. I laughed and said, are you for real he didn't think it was funny. Day 1, oh no. I worked for a while in a vegetarian vegan friendly buffet restaurant. Now, the great majority of people were actually really nice, not particularly haughty about their diet or anything, but I had two customers that were, let's say, different. The first one came up to me with a plate already filled with various salads, that she, being a buffet, had personally selected. She showed me the plate and asked me, do your salads have any raw ingredients in it and before I could answer, because I'm pregnant, see, so I can't eat anything raw, while still showing me her plate of definitely raw, various veggies and fruits salads. I was so dumbstruck that all I could say was let me ask the kitchen to make sure, and I actually did, because a salad raw is one of these questions that make you question even the most basic things such as what a salad is, or what hats are. I asked the chef if our salads had raw ingredients in them. He looked at me and said, is she familiar with the concept of salad? We ended up switching her plate for another one because yes, our salads had raw ingredients in them. However, all in all, she was really nice about it and didn't mind waiting a bit more for us to fix her plate. The second one was, however, a bit more rude. She came up to me and told me that she could only eat raw vegan stuff i thus directed her to the salad buffet because hey now i was pretty sure they were made of raw ingredients and that's when she scowled at me and said i yeah but i'm getting a bit tired of salads you know you tremendous tea you bestow upon other people the task of finding you food that fits your incredibly narrow criteria and then you be that it's a tad unoriginal she later complained that we didn't didn't have any raw cake the cake was already vegan Mind you, but yeah, we had baked it. But this is the only time I really thought you are an insult to natural selection. You have been visited by the romantic doggo. Comment love is magic so you never fall in the friend zone. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.